So for a general installation scenario, you would just go under your edit menu, go under preferences, and then under add-ons, we'll just go ahead and install hard ops, which I have my zip located under tools. We'll just go ahead and install that. After a few seconds, it'll pop up. And we'll go ahead and enable that. And now hard ops is enabled. While we're in here, we'll go ahead and install box cutter. Just might as well, just to verify that they are both working correctly. And so with that, we are now ready to begin. However, before get jumping into things, I do like to go through my settings and just make sure everything's looking good. So under 3D view, I like to change the active object to be a little bluer nowadays. And we'll make our vertice size bigger, face dot a little bigger, raise the outline a little bit under viewport. Just make sure our multi sampling's up high for maximum smoothness. Let's see, under input, everything is fine. Under navigation, we want to turn off auto perspective. That thing drives me crazy. Change to smooth view. If you're into that, we'll make sure that we have um, everything possible rendering for cycles if we go to that. We'll set our timer to one, auto run Python scripts. Recent files will change to 20 and we'll turn off save prompt so that way we can exit and open Blender without any problem. And with that, we are now complete. So with our mouse in a 3D view, I'll press shift H to hide everything that is in the camera, control space bar. And you know what? I'll actually start box cutter and under display, set it to simple top bar so we have all our icons. And with that, I can save my startup file. And this will be basically how my scene will start every time I open Blender. And that is the general installation in a nutshell, along with my normal configuration for how I configure Blender and set it up for general use. For Windows users, holding down the Windows button and pressing R will allow you to bring up a run window where you can type in the following command in order to locate your local app data location of your Blender installation. After doing so, you can bring up your Blender configuration folder where you can actually dive into your settings. These folders that have A's are actually the actual setups that I'm using. I've temporarily renamed them in order to go back to them once I'm done with these videos. However, using the uh, setup of 2.82 as a template, we can actually go in here and under scripts, add-ons, you can actually locate your scripts and add-ons. And we already have box cutter and hard ops installed. However, the classic way to update these back in the day would be to delete the old folders, go inside the zip for WinRare, and just open that up and drag it over. And this is a really easy way to update your installation if it's already been done. Uh, previous to these folders, if we go back to 2.82, you can see that there's this configuration folder that has your startup configuration. Uh, sometimes I will right click this and send it to a zipped folder, making a config.zip and then delete it. This will make it where the next time I open up Blender, it will open up as if it's never had any configuration or settings before. And in the event of preference or setting related issues, you may need to kind of quarantine your settings in order to find out what's going on there. So when it comes to preferences, there's not really a lot I can tell you, except that uh, when it comes to these installations, I always test them in a clean scenario to ensure that everything works. As you can see, the add-ons are already here. And because the preferences aren't present to cause any double registration issues, I can go ahead and enable them without issue and close that. And we're back in our scene and press Alt W, start box cutter, and we're just cooking. Press Alt V, bring up our viewport sub menu, and just, you know, this isn't a box cutter video, but just use a box cutter as an example here. Uh, this is how you would just go through a normal update scenario versus also uh, dealing with your preferences if needed. So we'll just close that window. And I'm going to delete my config because it's already working. And we're just going to extract to here, which will put my folder back where I had it. And if we pop up in Blender, it'll pop up open on the wrong monitor. 
but it will be exactly the configuration I left it off on, albeit the scale seems to be just slightly off, but that is basically advanced installation in a nutshell. In the event that you're having issues with getting the add-ons to enable, first quarantine your configuration. The next level could also be quarantining the whole 2.8 folder itself and installing it from a clean configuration, which is shown to work in most cases. But in the event of further support issues, just get in contact with us. So continuing on.